Co-Northern League champion Whitmer will look familiar this fall. The Panthers welcome key returners like third-year starter Brady Ford at quarterback and future Buckeye Carter Lowe on the O-line. On the coaching staff, there's even a return to the sidelines 25 years in the making. But as Joel Sebastianelli tells us, the Panthers are putting in the work now to prevent familiar frustration come November. Division one commits, number one in the league. That's the standard at Whitmer. It always looks good on paper, but it's really the next over the next month uh, we'll find out, you know, what what that means, um, you know, on the field. Seven and four a year ago. Oh. The co-NLL champions also exited the playoffs early. Whether they've lived up to the high standard they've set is a matter of perspective. No, the good, the good part was, you know, we finally you know, we shared a league title. Um, the bad part is we didn't want to share a league title. We wanted to win outright. And then, you know, going out the first round of the playoffs, that's not what we do. Um, but we've done that the last few years. So, um, you know, that's been a big focal point this offseason is, is what we can do better so we can get over that hump. What they'll do next is a matter of willpower. Ohio State commit Carter Lowe is using last season as motivation. I still watch film from last year too, so really getting prepared for next year, uh, even now, even the later games, even the first two games, whatever it is, we know we're going to use that to motivate us. We're really excited for those. For the 6'6", 290-pound tackle, and all 11 returning offensive players with some varsity experience, it's focus forward with the fun and gun. And the return of a familiar face, two-time state semifinalist quarterback Pat Cachardo Jr., back with the Panthers 25 years after serving as offensive coordinator for the first time. You know, all summer we've worked our tail off, the kids have worked their tail off, he's worked his tail off, and, and Coach Bitts and Coach Brown. Um, it's, a, it's a whole new offense, and it, it's coaches getting used to, you know, both sides of it, and then being able to, uh, you know, train the players for it. So we're super, super excited to see what he can do for us. You know, I've knew him for a while, so I know what he can do for other schools, I know what he can do for us. The mission? Use Brady Ford in the passing attack to enhance the production of junior running backs Joey Morales and Jaden Jones. It sounds simple enough, although it'll take some getting used to to be effective. Uh, it's definitely a little difficult, you know, obviously our skilled players trying to get used to the system, but you know, we're all buying into it, so we're super excited. Four starters depart on offense, five vacancies on defense, including all-state linebacker Jason Kelly, edge rusher Napoleon Jemison, who boasts a handful of D1 offers, is still adamant and their success starts up front. Yeah, the front seven is the key to hold, making the whole thing work. I don't know D-line, no backers, got nothing. The offense may have changed its philosophy. A unit which allowed just 2.4 yards per rush has not. Uh, hustling to the ball, getting to the ball, everybody getting out there, all has to the ball, left has to the ball, and I run deep. Hits keep on coming in the schedule. A gauntlet, which begins with Dublin Kaufman and Central Catholic, continues through a QB heavy conference. Panthers aren't taking anything lightly now or later. We're still probably not where we need to be, but, but we're getting there. Every day we get a little bit better. That's what the next two weeks are for. With the Panthers, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN. And as Joel mentioned, a pair of double-digit winners and a state champion in the first two weeks. The Game Day Nation tailgate crew will be on Cherry Street for week two. For the Week 2 clash against the Irish, Whitmer is no stranger to challenging schedules. Last season, the Panthers started 0-2 against Olatangi and Central, but went on to win their next six games. Keep an eye out Week 6 at Anthony Wayne and Week 7 at Perrysburg. Two more tailgate games featuring the Panthers.